the effects of amount of water and fertilizer on the growth of arugula plants. I decided to research this issue to find a perfect amount of water for indoor plants. Along with finding out if soil or a mixture of soil and fertilizer is most efficient for growth of indoor herbs. This is important because many gardeners and plant lovers find themselves either overwatering or underwatering their indoor plants. With this research, people with indoor plants will be able to exactly measure how much water their plant needs, along with whether or not they should add fertilizer to the mixture. Questions I pondered before beginning this experiment include, how much water should a plant owner give to an indoor herb daily, and if gardeners should be using fertilizer? My hypothesis was, if a caretaker were giving a plant two ounces of water daily and pot it with one scoop of fertilizer, then the plants will grow to be the largest and healthiest. The independent variables were the amount of water and having or not having fertilizer. The dependent variable was growth of the plant. Constants include amounts of sun, temperature, size of container, and brand of soil and fertilizer. Lastly, the expected outcome was for the two ounces of water with the fertilizer would result in the most growth. Procedure. Firstly, I scooped three cups of potting soil into six different labeled containers. In the plants four through six, I scooped one and a half tablespoons of miracle Grow fertilizer into the mix. Step three, I placed three arugula seeds into the middle of the soil. Daily, I watered each plant respectively, and I also measured the growth with a 10 inch ruler. After I measured the growth, I would record what I saw and what I scientifically measured onto my table, and I would repeat daily. There are no known risks to this experiment. Plant one with one ounce of water and no fertilizer reached 2.5 inches. Plant two with two ounces of water and no fertilizer reached 2.2 inches. Plant three with three ounces of water and no fertilizer reached 1.2 inches and then experienced overflow. Plant four with one ounce of water and one scoop of fertilizer experienced no growth. Plant five with two ounces of water and a scoop of fertilizer also experienced no growth. Finally, plant six with three ounces of water and a scoop of fertilizer experienced no growth, but also experienced overflow over the two week period of my experiment. Personally, I expected the fertilizer to be more effective. These results show that a plant owner can save money by not purchasing any fertilizer. Furthermore, planters will, will know for best results to water indoor herbs between one and two ounces daily. This experiment could have been done better by using more breathable containers, by using different water amounts, using different amounts of fertilizer, and placing the plant somewhere with constant access to sun. Unlike common beliefs, plants should be watered daily instead of a lot of water at one time. In conclusion, the fertilizer was not beneficial. Furthermore, three ounces of water was far too much for the arugula to soak up. The results of this experiment did not support my hypothesis. In the future, I, use it, I will expect to use this information to measure how much to water indoor plants. Thank you.